Hey everybody, it's Margot of The Big Sco African and we have made it to vlog number six. So, it has been a few weeks since my last vlog. I have been busy doing some study, more on that later. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of other stuff. I can't actually do a lot of mission work while I'm in Uganda. It is very much a transition time for me. Well, and for Stephen too. He's hard at work doing his pilot standardization. Um, so I have got some things to say and I have really thought long and hard about what to say in this particular vlog because I have said right from the start that I want to make it really real and you have to expose yourself a little bit if you want to be real. I also want it to be cheerful and I'm not me sitting here having a whinge and so I've had a bit of a dilemma because I kind of am probably going to whinge a little bit. I have decided I'm going to be brutally honest and um, let you guys know that the transition period is really hard. Now, I don't want anyone freaking out, okay? We're fine. <laughs> but this period is quite possibly the hardest thing I've ever been through. So, I'm really homesick. It's such a huge adjustment. I really miss everybody. I miss Australia, I miss my family and friends, I miss my old job, my old house, my old car, the shops, the, the streets, I, I miss it all. It's really hard leaving you, everything you know behind. And I have had some really down days and some very, very sad moments. Um, being honest, um, lots of tears the other day. I was walking down the street to meet a friend at a cafe and I wasn't, I was a bit emotional, but I was quite okay, but I wasn't concentrating. I was looking across the road at something. I, next thing I walked under a sign and bang, right on the top of my head, banged my head. I just saw stars and um, I, I just started crying. I couldn't stop the tears. I was saying to myself, you're in public, Margot, for the love of Pete, pull yourself together. I could not stop crying. I was almost sobbing, ugly crying, walking down the street. And I, I could, just couldn't do anything about it. And I arrived at the cafe and basically ran into the arms of my friend. And you know what she said? She said, this is a woman in transition. So it's for those of you that have done an international move, you know what it's like. It's the whole the culture thing and everything's so different. There's dust everywhere and I can't find the things I'm used to in the shops. I am, we are so spoiled in Western countries. You know what I want? I want a cup of dandelion tea with bonsoi milk. I cannot get that here. And I feel like a spoiled little Aussie every time I wish I could have one. I have found a soy milk I like though, finally, thank goodness, because that was like super depressing. Anyway, so yeah, lots of tears. And you know what? There are days when I say, okay, look, now don't tell anyone, but there's days when I say, I want to go home. I feel like that some days and it's all right. It's normal. Thank goodness. We have never doubted our calling. So when I feel pain, when I suffer, when I feel homesick and I want to see my kids, I give that pain to the Lord as an offering and I know that it's temporary. I mean, yeah, I'll always miss home. There'll always be some grief there, but I'm right in the thick of the intensive grieving process at the moment. And it would be abnormal if I didn't feel terrible some days. And some days, yeah, I just think I want to go home. I miss it. But again, I know I will get through this process. I will find my new normal and eventually this will, well, not quite Uganda, but we'll get to Liberia and I will find my, it will be my new home and I will start to feel at home there. 
Right now is probably the hardest time. I've also got this whole empty nest thing going on. So I no longer have children living in my, well, adult children. I don't have any of my children with me anymore. And so I'm going through the empty nest phase and it's, it's hard, but it's okay. We'll get there. We are doing well in general. We are going through a grieving process, which is quite normal. Um, so I have been a little bit unwell with some tummy troubles. I will spare you the details, but we've been in Uganda oh, probably about seven weeks now. My tummy, well, it is not normal. So please feel free to pray for that. Um, the other thing is, it's really interesting, you know, when you move to a country that is a lot, well, a third world country or or a country where there's a lot of poverty and there's slums and you, you just see, you see some really hard things. It's hard, it, it's weird because I came from Australia just being an average person. I wasn't considered rich. And I've moved to this country where all of a sudden I'm super rich, I'm considered by them. I mean, well, I'm certainly considered well off. I have everything I need and it, therefore I'm wealthy. And it's, it's a weird feeling and it's a bit of a, uh, I have to sort of work out how to process it all in my brain because you kind of feel guilty. So, well, I was born in Australia. I, I'm super blessed. I'm sorry you weren't born in Australia. I have had a blessed life and it's so weird trying to work it out in your brain and I'm working on that um, because you do kind of feel guilty and you can't complain about anything because anything you complain about, someone's got it worse. Anyway, it's helping me not to complain. Um, so yeah, that's a process to work through, um, which I am working through. I do know, you know the old cliche phrase, we're blessed to be a blessing. I have never found that more true. I, it's no point feeling guilty that I was born in Australia. I am incredibly blessed and I will use that to bless others and that is such a privilege so i think my oh time is up i've rambled on as i do i'm doing some study i've started a 10-week online course through a company uh an organization a christian organization in the u.s that does training for medical people who specifically are going to third world countries so it is the best course i am learning about malnutrition um, diseases of poverty, HIV, how to um, work in an area where you don't have the medications or the resources that you need, working cross-culturally, it's brilliant. So I really feel like I'm using my time here wisely, which is good. We are still hoping to get to Liberia before the end of May. I really want to, because I, f I want to put down some roots somewhere. I don't want to get too comfortable here. I'm already meeting the math ladies here. I, I already don't want to say goodbye to them, you know. So I want to get to Liberia as soon as I can so I can just put down some roots, which will be wonderful. And um, so please pray for that. All right, I've got to go. I love you all. You are all wonderful people. God bless you. Um, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. And I'll talk to you all soon.